did you see the trade coming that sent you to New York, which has obviously been a huge benefit for your career and it's really taken off, but was it a kick in the teeth when it happened? Did you see it coming? Uh, no, I didn't see it happening. Um, I heard some, I mean, rumors are everywhere, obviously, but yeah. I heard rumors from the year before that about other trades and whatnot, but I didn't hear this one. And um, obviously it was a little shock, shocking in the beginning and, and uh, took some time to, to really understand. Uh, I mean, I remember the phone call was just my agent calling me and say, saying that I got traded to New York, but he didn't know what team. So um I just so you're like this. <laughs> yes, I will. I mean, now, now for looking back at it, I'm, I'm super happy, but, um, I had my, my phone, my phone died. So, um, I went back, I, I went in to make some music and then 15 minutes later, I went up to charge my phone, check my phone. I had like six missed calls, six messages, even emails from my agent saying, call me now. I'm thinking, I know I have one more year. There's no way he's this hungry of an extension. So there's something <laughs> else going on here. Um, and then he just told me I got traded. And it was just, I don't know, I kind of freeze for a little bit. Um, I, I, I've only seen it since a kid on TV and hearing about it. And then just uh, just seeing other guys get traded. And then I didn't really know how to react. And then... Um, when I called my family and everyone, everyone was so excited um, for that opportunity. And, and uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was, I think I, uh, I was lucky enough that it happened during the summer. So I had some time to kind of adjust, uh, I had yeah. some time to plan everything, uh, plan the move there and, and um, pack everything and just kind of get time to settle in. So it was, um, I was fortunate enough that it happened during the summer. Were you a bit dis? I mean, obviously you're disappointed, but if I'm not mistaken, I've heard a, a story where you and your dad were, I think it might've been the last road trip of the season. And you were speaking um, with a colleague of mine sitting, I think the night before a game. And you had said this summer, I'm going to be like, I know what I need to do. I'm going to drill down. It's going to be the best summer training wise. And I'm going to be ready to play next year. Like that you had committed to Ottawa to be ready to go and that you got dealt uh, was that a bit of a sting for you? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously the team draft that drafted you. You you have um, you have I had so much that I'm still to this day that I'm thankful for uh, for getting the opportunity to play in the NHL, um, for getting the opportunity to getting all the help and, and coming into a team like that um, with the guys that we had in that locker room. I mean. I didn't understand it at that point, um, how important it was to really bury down with the, with the training and everything. I, I, I don't know. It was just hard, hard for me to, to understand. And I didn't want to be the, the guy that was, if he gets it or if he, he would have gotten, he will be a good player. Um, rather be when he gets it. So, um, it was it was hard, obviously, and and again, like you, when you get drafted, you you plan up, plan on playing there for, you want to play there for the rest of your career, and, and you want to do as as good as possible, and and really prove that team that they the right decision and and made the right choice by drafting. And when that doesn't happen, obviously, it's disappointing. But but again, it happens basically to everyone. So um, I just got. You know, another great opportunity with New York, and, and um, it's been it's been good since then. 